Hello and welcome, I'm Alex and I'm thrilled to welcome you to this introductory class for Robotics with Misty. I work as an experienced designer here at Furhat Robotics. In this series, our goal is to help you become familiar with Misty, guiding you through the process of getting started and running with these fascinating robots. Throughout this series, we'll take you through all the essential steps from setting up your very own Misty robot and diving into basic programming with it. Our aim is to empower you with the knowledge and skills to make the most out of your Misty robot. Whether you're a seasoned programmer or just starting on your journey, we'll make sure to cover the basics. From understanding Misty's hardware components to writing code and that brings her to life, this series will be your starting guide. By the end of this series, you'll be able to get started with Misty programming, as well as knowing where to find documentation, community, and support. If you have any question along the way, feel free to ask us. So buckle up and get ready to embark on this exciting journey. Let's dive in and uncover the magic of Misty together. This is Misty Studio. Um, here we have Misty's different functions, and there's a bunch of them. Uh, we have the speech functions, the dry functions, the moving the heads, the arms, changing the chest LED here at the right. And you also have these different actions on the bottom uh, that helps her display uh, emotions, uh, move her arms, move her head, and also uh, she can also play uh, different sounds. So let's try out first by using the speech function. Hi, I'm Misty. How are you? You can also change this to have her say anything you want. Hello world. You can also change the volume at top here. You have the halt here in case you need to stop anything. You have the battery and you have the live data. So on the live data, let me show you that quickly. You can see the log output here. And the log output is great for you to be able to see, oh, what's going on here? Uh, let's say Misty Rocks. Misty Rocks. And you can also get the, you can also see the different sensors. So let's, for instance, she has a bunch of sensors. So let's try the bump sensors. Uh, I press her bump sensor right now. And you can see it reacts there on the right front. And we can also drive with her, but we want to be a little bit careful because she's on a table. Uh, I know that she has sensors to stop her from doing that, but I'm going to be a little bit careful and not have her fly off. <laughs> um, here you can try pressing the different buttons here. You can see she can move, she can walk angry. <laughs> can also display the different images on her face that she uses to express emotions. Uh, so you have a bunch of different ones here. And she can also make a lot of different sounds. <laughs> and you can find more things here if you press on explore. We have the different expressions you can also upload different images here uh, that you can change between and preview you can also upload different audio files if you want to make your own audio files so she can play a lot of different WAV files uh, another thing I forgot to mention is she can also uh, display video files from her face uh, you have the arm movement here and also the head of course And uh, let's go over to locomotion. Locomotion is basically how she moves. Uh, you can set the velocity speed uh, on this pad, move her around to where you want. Uh, but I would recommend to do that on a safe space like the floor. <laughs> on vision, you have uh, her, she can also do face detection. So Misty can uh, do some face recognition training she can uh, she can also if you press the start face detection she can recognize face but right now i'm not there 
She can also do uh, face recognition, so she could uh, she could recognize a person, and you can do something cool with that. Maybe you want to have her like a security guard or something like that, but will recognize when you come back. Um, you can also take a photo, of course. Uh, let's take a photo of the camera recording her right now. And there you see my phone. <laughs> Uh, you can also, of course, record a video. And if we go over to her hearing, Misty can also record audio. You can also download the audio here. So think a little bit that Misty has a hard drive where she ha can store uh, some of the information. She also comes with audio localization. So in case I press record voice here, she can hear from where the sound is coming. And right now it's the right of her. So somewhere between 350 and 270 degrees uh, from where she's standing. Stop that. We'll go in a little bit more on the programming bit on the other videos, but I just want to show you quickly that here is where you can do Blockly and you can also do Python. There's also an API explorer here where you can find everything that you need uh, and how to get it. So use a REST API. There's also the skill management where you can install different skills that maybe someone have uh, built before and shared. There's also documentation that takes you to a new tab. Which, uh, which has the, all the documentation you need for Misty. There's a tutorial part, but I would want you to explore that yourself uh, and it will give you a basic understanding of Misty Studio. In the system settings, you have things where you can like reset the robot, uh, you can also uh, find out the Wi-Fi, uh, which Wi-Fi you're on, and previously connected Wi-Fi is here as well. So you can select between them. You can also forget uh, different Wi-Fi. In the update management, you can find uh, if you have the latest update or not. Uh, at currently, we don't have any system updates available because we're on the newest version. And in diagnostic, you can also find different information about uh, Misty here. So you can also download the log file in case there's something that you want to download and maybe show us in case something have happened. And uh, there's also information about the operating system here that's running on Misty. But yeah, so that's a little bit about Misty uh, and uh, or her Misty Studio. And I hope that you get to try her out and uh, yeah, I'll see you later.